Theobroma cacao, or chocolate, has been one of life's simple pleasures for centuries. Along with cotton, durian, and okra, chocolate is part of the Malvasi family, or the Mallow family. Chocolate trees are perennial evergreen plants. The trees produce flowers through coliflory, or directly on the trunk and older branches. The flowers are pollinated by tiny flies called Forsipomia midges. In pollination studies, the flies were more successful at pollinating the cacao flowers compared to artificial pollination. The upper Amazon cacao varieties are all self-incompatible so that it is difficult to obtain valuable alleles in the homozygous condition. The incompatibility mechanism operates through failure of fusion of male and female gametes carrying the same dominant allele, followed by the loss of the whole ovary even though normal fusion has occurred in other ovules. Chocolate seeds are dispersed in the wild by mammals such as agouti and monkeys. Only about 5% of flowers receive enough pollen to start fruit development. When they are pollinated, there is a dramatic change as the tiny flowers develop into massive fruits. Beginning in 600 BC, chocolate was distributed from southeastern Mexico to the Amazon basin. By 1819, Christian missionaries brought chocolate to West Africa. It wasn't until 1870 that a Ghanaian man named Tete Karshi began to cultivate cacao, thus starting the West African cacao industry. West Africa grows 70% of the chocolate produced globally. Processing chocolate can be outlined in 11 steps. First, the chocolate pods are harvested off the trees. Then, the seeds and pulp are fermented until the mixture is slightly alcoholic. Next, the seeds are separated from the pulp and roasted until they are dark brown. The roasted seeds are broken up then separated into cacao nibs and shells by letting them fall in front of a fan. The shells are less dense and blow away while the nibs fall into a collecting bin below the fan. The nibs are then alkalinized with sodium hydroxide or with other basic compounds to develop flavor and color. Once the nibs reach a certain pH, they are ground to produce chocolate liquor. The cacao liquor is pressed which separates the cacao butter and cacao powder cake. The cacao butter is added to unpressed chocolate liquor to form chocolate as we know it. Milk, sugar, and cacao butter alternatives may be added at this stage as well. Next, the chocolate paste is refined in several rollers to improve texture. The paste is then melted using friction with a large paddle mixer. Finally, the chocolate is tempered by heating and cooling in several stages and poured into molds. Over the centuries, chocolate was known to have medicinal properties and was used to treat many types of ailments. In a paper found in the early 1600s, a teacher at the College of Santa Cruz in Mexico City described chocolate to help with angina, constipation, tartar-related dental problems, dysentery, dyspepsia, indigestion, fatigue, gout, and hemorrhoids. In the late 1900s, claims of chocolate benefits focused upon its richness in carbohydrates, fat, and phytonutrient flavonoids, confirming the benefits of dark chocolate in cardiovascular diseases, gastrointestinal, and respiratory disorders, along with mental health. However, chocolate consumption may also proffer a host of other health benefits due to its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Cacao and purified cacao flavanols and procyanidins have been reported to attenuate the copper-mediated and endothelial cell-mediated oxidation of LDL to reduce the production of reactive oxygen species by activated leukocytes to protect against erythrocyte hemolysis and to inhibit ultraviolet C-induced DNA oxidation.